I have such a great treat for y'all. This website has saved my life. Okay, well, that might be overemphasizing a little bit, but I have been searching for a pigment for forever. I've not been able to find it for years. I've been looking forever. I've even put it out on uh, in the internet universe and even in the comments. Usually my comment section saved me. Someone knows something, but no one has been able to help me. And this website has helped me find a pigment I've been looking for forever. So in today's video, I want to share with you this brand new website. I learned about it last week, literally two days ago. I bought the pigment that I've been thinking was extinct. I bought the pigment because of this website. So I'm going to share that with you today. And just by the way, a little behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> Um, I'm about to go out of town, out of the country. My son has had COVID and I have tested negative, but I'm still feeling kind of under the weather. And I had planned on highlighting this website along with a bunch of other things in the form of a watercolor magazine. So I want to do like a watercolor magazine video and have a bunch of different things in it. But I ran out of time and there are two things that I really want to share with you. One is this amazing website and two is a watercolor competition that even if you're not um, an advanced painter, but your work is getting to the place where you think you can show it to the world, I have a great entry level watercolor competition for you to enter that uh, the deadline is in February. So I need to get this information out. So I'm I got up at 5.30 a.m. this morning to get this information out to you guys before I go on my little four-day trip, and uh, I hope you find it useful. Let's dive into this real quick. All right. For those of you who are not, you don't consider yourself a super advanced artist, and you're probably intimidated from um, entering into some big national shows, I have a great show for you. And, and I actually happen to be very involved in this organization. I'm on the board. I do their publicity, meaning I do a lot of their videos. So be sure to check out South Carolina Water Media YouTube channel. And also they have an online show coming up. The deadline to apply to the South Carolina Water Media national online show is February 24th. So Get together your most beautiful painting that you've done in the last year. It has to be painted from your own reference material. And there's other rules. So be sure to really read the, pros the prospectus carefully and enter. I would love to see. And if you do enter the show, let me know. I'd love to see your work. And that reminds me, you should come join my free Facebook group that is for watercolor, but it's also for any medium. And you can share your work, ask questions, get them answered, and also answer questions for other members. And we learn a lot from each other. And we're all on this fun, fabulous watercolor journey together. And we grow so much faster because of each other. I've learned so many things from my online community and you will too. So I'd love for you to join there. Brought to you by Rachel Studio Patreon. Be sure to join my Patreon if you would like to paint loose, dreamy animals. Emphasis on cats, dogs, courses. I do dabble in other things, but if you'd like to learn from me more in depth and learn more of the things that I'm learning almost on a day-to-day -day basis, I have so many things that I've, I, I'm learning and I'm always passing it right along quickly to my Patreon students. So I'd love to have you join there. You can follow me for free there and get a taste for what I post. And then if you like it, you can join up and follow me more in depth. So I'd love to see you there as well. Next up, I want to look at a website that has solved a great mystery for me, and I'm so excited to share this with you. This is the website for you if you want to research paint colors or a brand or even a specific tube by a specific brand, say Daniel Smith Permanent Green Light, for example. Just some background, different manufacturers take, pig take pigments which have industry standard names, mix them into a unique formulation, and then give them another name which may or may not make it obvious which actual standard pigment they used. For example, I love the pigment whose industry standard name is PB17. P is for pigment and B is for blue. This is a beautiful Caribbean ocean, almost neon colored blue that is very hard to replicate unless you have the specific PB17 pigment. 
Different brands over the years have called it different names when they name their paint colors. This one has had the name Peacock Blue, Antique Turquoise, and Sky Blue, just to name a few. I don't care about those names. I care if it has PB17, specifically PB17, please, in it. Also, paint colors have many different characteristics, including how staining they are, how light fast, how transparent, how much they cauliflower, etc., etc. So it is useful to have a website you can go to and look up your specific tube of paint to learn about it, or vice versa, research paints before you invest in a paint tube. Historically, I've sent my students to this website, handprint.com. Unfortunately, it has not been updated for years, but because of its extensive and thorough exploration of not only paint brands, but pigments, and remember, pigments don't change, just paint color names. It is still quite topical. However, and now to the good part, I discovered a new website that is a great partner to the information found on handprint.com, and it is artistpigment.com, which, by the way, isn't just watercolor paint, but acrylic too. And I haven't explored it fully, but maybe it has other mediums as well. But I definitely have seen watercolor and acrylic paints listed on there, and it is extensive. First off, if you're new to my channel, you haven't heard me talk about handprint, and here we are on handprint, and I'm going to go to the place where he does in-depth deep dives into the characteristics of all kinds of different brands and colors of paint. And it's very useful. So you see the colors along the top of the web page. Those are the colors. So if you're looking for a red, you can go in there and you can read about all the different reds that were on the market market. Now this website has not been updated in years, but a lot of the information is still quite useful because it talks about not just the paint brand, and the name the paint brand gave it, but the pigment in that paint, br paint brand. So for example, my Peacock Blue that I just told you about had PB17 in it. And now if you go to blues and find, there are still colors out there called Peacock Blue, but they do not have PB17 in them. It's very hard to find. So in comes this brand new website to me, artistpigments.org. And this website is huge. It has so many paint brands and colors. It's really extensive. And the exciting thing for me was that I could go to the blues and I could click on PB17 and it took me to a list of all the PB17 tubes of paint out there with all the different blues, all the different brands. So for example, here we are, yellow. Now up in the top right corner is a search bar. So you can use that if there's, if you wanna search for PB17 or you wanna search by the name of the paint like cobalt or the brand, anything that's on this website, you can search in that upper right hand search box. But here I'm just taking a look at everything that it does, at everything it shares about this color. It gives you a little swatch. It shows you where you can buy it. It shares what pigments are in it, the actual name of the actual pigments, and some of the characteristics of that paint. I think because this website is so extensive, the easiest way to navigate it is to have something you want to search for and then search for it. All right, so I'm searching cobalt violet. This is a new color to me. I just bought it. I was reading, if you guys watched my watercolor clock video last week, I also discovered Cobalt Violet from that book, from Zabuk Fitch, uh, his book on how to paint transparent, how to paint atmospheric watercolor. So I was curious to see what this website had to say about this Cobalt Violet. And what I'm finding is it acts a lot like, um, cerulean in that when you paint it, it stays really light. It is not a color that you can use to mix darks, but it's a really delicate uh, purple color. So it's very beautiful, but it's also very light. See here you see it's light fat fastness rating is double A, which is good, granulating, semi-transparent. It tells you what pigments are in it. So it has that little symbol that is uh, the poison symbol. So cobalts are known to have some concerning health hazards. So you just have to be um, cognizant of those and aware. But here I go, I'm gonna search PB17. I was like, wait a minute, let me 
see what it says about PB17. So here we are on PB17's page, thalassine cyan. And then here it gives a list, a list of different paint brands that use PB17 in their formulations. So Arteza has it in their acrylic paint, De La Rowney uh, has it in an acrylic paint. These are all acrylic paints. And then I went down to watercolors, Alpha Colors Premium. One of these was an Etsy page. So this is amazing that this website even covers uh, very esoteric paint colors that you can only buy on Etsy that are handmade. I mean, this website is amazing how much information, how many paint colors they cover and how many brands, ones that you would never know about unless you go to this website or you're just obsessed with watercolor paint. <laughs> and this is what you're seeing is me browsing this for the first time. So I'm kind of figuring out this website and I quickly found out that you can click on most of these things like these dirty blue watercolor that goes to Etsy. Here we go, dirty blue watercolor. I was like, what is that? I've never heard of that brand. And when I clicked on it, so they're in the Netherlands. Here they are on Etsy, dirty blue shop. And they make a paint with PB17 in it, but their uh, Etsy shop was closed for the time. So I decided, okay, let me click back on PB17 and go see if I can find other brands that have this. I was kind of getting excited here. I have a painting that I did with PB17 and I called it In Peacock Shadows because I painted the shadows with peacock blue. So you can see in this painting how gorgeous this peacock blue is. It's a very special color, very hard to achieve. Okay, so here's Rockwell. And I was like, what? Rockwell has this? This is a Canadian company. I have bought a set of their super granulating paint colors before. And I was really impressed with their granulating paint colors. But they're more for fun for me because they're... They're just to play with. They're convenience mixes of common paint colors anyway. So I don't recommend them because I just believe in not buying too much paint uh, of convenience mixes when you could just make all these mixes yourself. Okay, so here's the peacock blue, y'all. Blue sky, they call it. And this is just PB17 in this paint tube. So did I, with great alacrity and joy, buy this sky blue pigment? Yes, I did. So it is in the mail on the way to me now. Thanks to this website, I would have never found this. I would have never found this without this website because I was able to click on PB17 anywhere on the website and it took me to a brand that was selling this pigment. So I am forever grateful to this website. So I hope you enjoyed that little dive into this website. Just go on there and explore around. And if you want to learn more in depth about pigments, individual pigments. I still love handprint.com. You can go there and read about his narrative because on um, handprint.com, he talks a lot about his own experiences using these colors and what colors mix well with other colors and what pigments work and what don't and which ones to avoid and which ones um, he would recommend. And he's done very in-depth, almost like to the level of research studies. It's a wonderful site, but you can take that information and then go to this website and find what brands have those uh, specific pigments and go from there. So they're great websites to use in conjunction to find out what pigments that you are interested in and what you would like to try or help you find something that you can't find. Like I would have never found this. So here I go buying PB17. So anyway, I hope you enjoy that website. All right, my little art stars. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. And I hope you'll join me on the next one. And be sure to subscribe to learn not just the how, but the why of watercolor. So you move along your painting journey a lot faster. And I will see you next time. Now go watercolor your world. Bye, everybody.